One of the most common questions I get asked as an oil painter is if your painting takes six months to fully dry or cure, do you really have to wait that long to varnish, exhibit, or ship your painting? To me, the easiest way to think about this is to think about the drying in three stages. In the first stage, your painting becomes unsmudgeable. This takes about a week depending on the colors, the medium, or the thickness of your paint. This stage, you could exhibit your painting, but as it's not fully solid, you have to be careful not to put any pressure on it. I'd avoid shipping or packing it unless you can be very careful about how you package it. I've seen artists use bubble wrap and have like these weird circles show up on their artwork. You can also use a retouch varnish at this point, which is just a temporary layer of protection. The next stage is when the painting is fully touch dry. There's something called the fingernail test, which you can use to tell, but mostly it's just an approximation based on your materials and other factors. The idea is if you press your fingernail into the painting, it shouldn't be able to leave any mark. It's at this stage where you can start to use some varnishes like Gamvar, but every painting is made under different conditions. And I think some people get excited by the idea that Gamvar can be applied earlier and apply it still way too early. If you have a time pressure, I'd suggest using Gamvar, but make sure that your painting really is fully touch dry as opposed to just non-transferable. The idea of varnish is that it's a removable layer and if you apply it too early, it'll become one with the layer of paint and you won't be able to remove it. Unfortunately, it really is best practice to wait till your painting is fully cured, which is the final stage of drying. This can depend on a lot of factors, but it really takes an average of six months. I find as an artist who does commissions, I often have to help explain to people how long it takes for an oil painting to be done properly. Not just the amount of time it takes to be fully cured and be properly varnished and protected, but even just the time it takes to complete an oil painting. Da Vinci painted the Mona Lisa, I think it took him four years and he wasn't even done. Some techniques, especially more traditional ones such as glazing, really are very time consuming techniques. And I found that digital art commissions have been a good alternative for people who have a time pressure or can't wait as long as it takes to do an oil painting. But the reality is there will be a time between when your art is dry enough to exhibit or ship before it's really best practice to varnish it. And I know that a lot of artists these days will deliver their painting without varnishing, but there are other alternatives if you want to deliver a painting before varnishing it. I've heard of artists going to where a painting is displayed and literally varnishing it in place about six months later. Or people, if the painting is local, picking it up, taking it back to their studio to varnish and then deliver again. This obviously doesn't work if your painting isn't local, but one thing I've seen some artists do is give instructions to the person they deliver the painting to of somewhere that they can take it to be varnished or even what varnish to use and how to do it themselves. In the same way that some people will ship a stretched canvas dismantled and rolled up so that it saves money on shipping costs and then give instructions to the person to either take it to a framer to be restretched or how to restretch it themselves or something like that. I'd love to hear your comments if you have any solutions for how to varnish a painting later and still fit within people's kind of expectations we have these days for how fast we can get items delivered and purchase things. It's not always an easy balance for artists to meet with clients' demands whilst also delivering work that's of the best quality possible. But I think one of the reasons why people like oil paintings is because there's so much care and attention and time that went into the creation of it. And I found in my own experience that just explaining and helping to educate people on like the timing and how long it really takes to produce a really good quality work, I find that people are more open and receptive to working with you and what deadlines it takes. In fact, I had a recent painting that I put retouch varnish on to go and exhibit it and then took the painting back and waited in my studio until the full six months and have it varnish and now I have it ready to fully deliver to the client. So I think it just takes being able to explain and manage expectations and not expecting miracles when you look at the internet and it seems like people are churning out and delivering paintings all the time doesn't necessarily mean they're doing it in a way that will make the most permanent paintings. And then it's just finding creative solutions to work around it because you can't change the facts, whether we would like to or not, you can't change the facts of how long it takes for an oil painting to fully cure. But I've definitely found that it's easiest to think about the drying and what you can do at different stages with these three stages. First, whether your painting is non-smudgeable, then whether it's fully touch dry, and then whether it's fully cured. But whether or not you really have to wait six months to fully varnish your painting is one of the age old battles that oil painters have. So let me know in the comments if you have any ideas or suggestions or creative solutions that you found to get around this.